Hi, this is David from Electric Teaching. Uh, I teach uh, mathematics and software development at Seattle Academy, and I'm posting a uh, how to uh, do a Pi game, and the game's called Starcatcher. Uh, I want to start with the folder here. I have a background image, um, a star that we're going to use as a target down the road, and I've started a Pi game uh, document. I'm using a 2.66. Uh, Py, uh, Python, and I've already downloaded from python.org uh, the uh, Py, Pygame, excuse me, from pygame.org, the Pygame library. Um, here I've started a new document. Um, the way you start a new document is you go File, New Window, and, work, and then you can name it and save it to the proper location. Uh, this game, in the end, will have multiple stars uh, bouncing around the screen. Uh, we'll be able to uh, uh, use a player to catch them with a mouse or with uh, keyboard actions and uh, be able to create multiple levels off of it. Uh, it's perfect for learning the basics of this, but yet you can take this game to uh, a different difficult level. First thing I like to do is I like to make some comments. This is my first game demonstration in Python. I'm going to import Pygame. Again, I've already downloaded it. Uh, you need to do that if you haven't done so from pygame.org uh, and the system from Python. And it start by calling up from the Pygame library. Um, Pi game and I initiate, and it basically starts up some stuff in uh, Pi game. Going to use a function to run the game. This will be basically our main routine, and the definition use def, uh, and the name of it is called game. You can use any word you want there for game. I'm just using that, and I'm going to make another comment here. Make a window called screen and initialize the background. I like to make comments to make sure I know what I'm looking at down the road when I come back to this. I'm going to use variables to control the width and the height of the screen. You can do this with the comma. The, uh, the width, I'm assigning two things at the same time here. The width will be the first thing I put down. I'm going to make that 600. And the height is the second thing I put down, uh, 400. So that lines up width with the 600 and the height with the 400. I'm going to create a variable called screen. I'm going to use a pie game display function called set underscore mode and inside of it I'm going to say the width and the height. I have to use extra parentheses here so that it sees it as an XY location. Um, it sees it as uh, two separate integers in the tuple basically. Um, let's see pi game dot display dot set underscore caption is a way of putting a title in the title bar like up here the, this window has a title in the title bar up there and that's what we're going to do right now I'm going to say my star catcher game if you put things in a green in a, a quote, it'll turn green. And make sure you save your game as a dot pi dot py. Otherwise, the colors won't be working the way they are on my screen. I'm going to use a variable called background. Unlike a lot of other programs, you only have to set up a new word equals, and it will make a new variable with that name with that assignment. From a lot of other programs, you have to initiate the variable, tell it if it's a string, etc. Image, uh, Pygame library again, image. I'm going to load up the background. Now, the background I have in the folder again. Now, the folder is 
got a BG JPEG that I'm going to use. I use JPEGs for backgrounds. They have the best color. And I usually use PNGs, as you'll see in a second, for uh, uh, movable objects on the screen. The PNGs have the ability to do transparency. You may want to be able to use Photoshop to enable those transparents to have your games look good. Um, and now I'm going to blit to the screen. Screen, again, is the variable holding the window with said width and height. Now, if I do screen, it means using screen, the variable, blit being the Python action to put this on, uh, put the background that I've loaded up, that image, okay, and I'm going to load it up at an XY location, okay, using parentheses again, 0, comma, 0. And this is how we do all of our uh, placements of images on the screen. Uh, they will. They call this a surface. Is what we're doing is we're taking the surface that we've loaded up and putting it on the screen, and it works in layers too. We have to keep that in mind when we actually load things up. This line right here is going to be redundant in a few minutes because we're going to have it running constantly in a running loop uh, that's going to run until we tell it to quit. Let's load up the target now. Again, let's just put a little comment here. Load target image and again I'm going to assign variables target is equal to the pi game dot image dot load and this is the PNG the star PNG that I have in my folder whatever you have in the name of your item you're going to use your name where the green things are here and very similar, wherever you put here is just by your choice in the green uh, line at the top. Okay. And now we need to uh, take the target here, take the target, and we're going to create a new variable called the target position. I use target pause here. Target pause is going to equal, and by the way, the spacing here, it really doesn't matter. I could have spaces um, in between equals or not have spaces in between equals. I tend to have spaces more often than not, so I can really see it a lot clearer than a string of characters um, all lined up. But sometimes I don't, so you know, I'm just going to go either way for your purposes just so you can see how it works in all different manners. Um, all right, that's one of the nice things about Python is Python's very friendly with their syntax. Again, we don't have a lot of the same syntax that JavaScript and other uh, languages would make you have. Target position is going to use a command where it grabs the target's rectangle size. It's going to, I'm going to use a, you first identify what I'm using. I'm grabbing the surface target. And I am going to use the get underscore rect. I believe this is another Python command um, or Pygame. Excuse me, I'm not positive on that. Well, we're going to use get underscore rect, open close parentheses. It's a function we're calling up. And it's four different coordinates. The upper left coordinates, x, y's, and the lower rights of that image. And that makes it really easy to blit it then. And again, we're going to screen blit. First the background, now the target. Order is important target comma target pause okay so we have the image loaded now we're gonna run a, a loop this is the running of the game loop and this loop will run until we tell it to stop so it's basically a forever loop because I'm gonna say while true and the word true is not going to change. I can put a variable here, which we'll learn down the road. But right now, I just need this to run until I stop. The command we're going to use is if we click on the X in the upper right up here, okay, that's going to send a quit command, and that's going to exit the game for us. So we have to always have this in a running loop so that we can um, always be able to click on it and it be able to understand our um, keystroke, um, or in this case, mouse click. First thing we're going to do is update our images. I always like to immediately, excuse me, get lined up here. Tabs are very important, okay, because tabs are my syntax. So I'm going to blit the screen. You know, I don't like to retype things. 
forgive me, sometimes I sound jumbled. If you have them typed up and they look right and they're, everything's working correctly, it's better to copy and paste to make sure um, that you have the exact same code laid out twice. Again, these lines are going to be redundant because this is what's going to keep it going on the screen constantly. We'll take away these down the road, but right now I like to have that for educational purposes to see the whole process. We're going to load it and then blit it. Down here, we're going to re-keep blitting these um, uh, background and targets. And now we're going to make the keyboard commands. So we have keyboard and or mouse movements. And the commands go, I've got a little misspelling here, keyboard and... Whoops, got a keyboard and or mouse movements. And now we're going to run a, a, a for loop um, for event in pygame.event.get. Okay, what this is is in the event, the event being a mouse click, a movement, a keyboard uh, click, um, it's going to be called up by this cool little library trick. And then we immediately ask if the event type, the event type, double equal to say if it truly is equal to this, pi game dot all caps quit, which is again clicking that red uh, and white box in the upper corner with the X, um, then we want to tell it to do a pi game dot quit. And this is the command that we sent. Get out of that. I think we're done here. Let's scroll down this. We'll move this window down a little bit so you can see this. Give me one more second. Got a little more to type here. Okay, Python's way of running a uh, your main routines is um, same in all in all Python code, and it uses. Um, let me just get this comment in. Python's way of running the main routine is using an if statement saying if double underscore name, double underscore, double equal for making sure it's a, it is equal to, not assigning it, double underscore main, double underscore, which I believe means main routine, but I'm not positive on that, I'm going with it. So if you want to have a main routine running, what is it called? It's called game. And so basically Python will read everything here and not do much except remember what it read. Call up game, come back up here to the definition function game, and run it. Everything will run until this quits. So let's see if this worked. Keep your fingers crossed. Oh, gotta save it. So file save. I usually use Control S and F5 to run it. And we did not get it to work. We have an error, so I'm gonna have to close that. So pardon the pause real quick. I had to fix the problem and I found it. It wasn't too long. I misspelled caption, which I fixed up here in the word caption. And then I also forgot to do a very important thing, which is updating the screen. Um, so you have to do a pygame command dot display dot update. It's a very important command, which basically after blitting everything, update the screen, which is refresh the screen. And save, control S, F5, running it, and here it works. The icon is up in the left-hand corner. That's my star. Here is the background. It doesn't really fit the image. Image isn't fitting in it. We'll fix that later. And if I click on this, it will close it. I'll always get that display error over here, but that's no big deal. It's still working and everything. All right, stay tuned for part two.